Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to my channel. This is Brad with Being Chill. Today we're going to be talking about why I think the upcoming Mac OS Big Sur release as well as the Apple Silicon event are going to be taking place on November 17th of this year. But before we get into that, I do want to ask if you're not already to please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I upload new videos every week, Monday through Friday. So if you like this content, make sure you subscribe and click that bell and you can stay up to date on all the latest tech news with me. Now let's get into it. So just today Apple announced that they would be allowing developers a time to schedule a one-on-one -on -one lab session with certified Apple engineers, which is going to allow them to look over their code and optimize it and ensure that it runs seamlessly across the new Silicon Macs, the iPhone, the iPad, etc. And that the dates for these are going to be November 4th and November 5th. Now this would line up with what John Prosser said where we're going to see the Apple Silicon event happening on November 17th as this would give developers enough time to put finishing touches on their application and ensure that they can work out as many bugs as possible before the inevitable release date shortly after that November 17th event. So why is it going to happen on November 17th and not any other week in November? Well for starters we haven't heard anything yet and we know that the developer labs like I stated are going to be on November 4th and November 5th and the week of November 2nd, which is next week, is also election week in the United States, and Apple's likely not gonna wanna release any products during that time because they don't want the hype to get lost in between all of the news about the election. Additionally, the iPhone 12 Pro Max and the iPhone 12 Mini will be starting pre-orders Friday, November 6th, and will likely start shipping out the following Friday on November 13th, which leaves November 10th as a viable option for them to have the event, However, being that they cannot announce the event next week, most likely, we'll likely see them announce the event that week of November 9th through November 13th, which will leave November 17th as the perfect date to have the event. And it really can't be the following week because Thanksgiving is going to be that week as well as Black Friday sales. And Apple is not going to announce a product whenever everybody is with their families. And the people that aren't going to be with their families are going to be caught up looking at Black Friday sales or out shopping. So it's pretty much not going to be that week. And then the following week is possible. However, we really think that we're going to see a mid-November event. And that would line up with the events from September and October. So November 17th is looking really good. And John Prosser has a decent track record when it comes to getting these things correct. So with all that being said, a November 17th release date looks very likely. And rumors are pointing to the fact that we could see an iMac, a Mac Mini, a MacBook Air, or a 12-inch MacBook releasing at this event with the Apple Silicon chips inside of them. Now there is some speculation out there that says we could see a 13-inch MacBook Pro. However, I don't think that's the case as they're not going to want to release any Pro devices right now. As the people that are going to be buying the non-Pro devices likely won't be using very many apps, they're going to have compatibility issues that would require the use of Rosetta 2. So by doing this, Apple can increase the market share of users and get positive feedback generated from people that aren't going to be using these devices and running all kinds of apps that would normally be run on an Intel chip. Now, if we follow the pattern of the iPhones, we're likely going to see pre-orders for these devices start opening up on November 20th, and then they're going to start shipping out and arriving to customers the following Friday, November 27th. And I imagine accompanying these devices will be Mac OS Big Sur, which will likely release sometime as close as possible to the date they arrive to customers so that developers have enough time to put finishing touches on it before customers get their hands on these products. Well, that's all I've got for today's video. Let me know down in the comments whether or not you think we will see these devices announced on November 17th and what you're most excited for and you hope that they announce. Now, if you did like this content, make sure you smash that like button. And once again, I upload new videos every week, Monday through Friday. So if you like this content, make sure you subscribe and click that bell, and you can stay up to date on all the latest tech news with me. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.